For many of us, digital technologies are a part of our everyday lives. We use them for work, recreation, in our homes, and everywhere in between. Have a think about the digital tools you've used so far in your day. If you like, pause this video and take a moment to write them down. This morning, I woke up using the alarm software on my mobile phone. Next, I made toast using a digital toaster that beeps when my toast is ready, while being warned that my beeping fridge door was left open. Next, I checked my work emails and online news websites on my computer. Then I checked the weather to decide what to wear to work using an app on my mobile phone. I listened to music using my phone on my way to work and then paid for my coffee using Payway bank card technology. I used an elevator to take me to my office floor where I used the swipe card to access the staff room. And that was just my morning. Digital systems process and manipulate data using binary code and electronic components, allowing for the storage, transmission and manipulation of information in a digital format. While digital technologies process and manipulate data digitally, analog or traditional objects such as a book or wind up watch do not rely on digital processing or data representation. Understanding how technology works can help us to think of ways to use technology, and it can also help us understand the potential issues, for example, ethical risks with the way technology uses data. Digital technologies are transforming industries and jobs, creating more efficient, connected and data-driven ways of doing things. First Nations Australian Rangers are leading the design and use of digital tools that help with the monitoring of biodiversity, leveraging over 65,000 years of expertise. Medical professionals are using digital tools to help them collect health data and monitor their patients. And there's even robot surgeons. Virtual reality is being used to train and prepare workers in high risk environments like firefighting or surgeons. Artificial intelligence tools are being used to help people shop online. For example, those little pop-up chat assistants who help you find the right shoe size or augmented reality apps that let you see what furniture looks like in a space before buying it. We don't know what the future of work will look like with technology yet. But by understanding how digital systems work and developing key thinking skills, we can prepare ourselves for the opportunities that lie ahead. The Australian Curriculum Digital Technologies has the potential to help us grow skilled and knowledgeable citizens who could go on to tackle global challenges and issues, which could be anything from developing critical hardware and software for people with health conditions, designing digital tools that will be used for future missions into space, or creating cutting edge solutions for sustainable futures and smart cities.